Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm just going to very briefly provide a bit of a response to Genderquake the debate on Channel 4. Now it's broadcast live tonight and it had a panel chaired by Kathy Newman and included people like Jermaine Greer, included people like Monroe Bergdorf, um, Caitlin Jenner, also included people like um, Sarah Ditton. And it was a great debate with brilliant people on that, or at least on the panel. This is where I think a lot of the problem came from. Now, Channel 4 is a gender quake season, which is supposed to challenge the um, perceptions of gender. It's been... quite provocative and that's an understatement um, there were scenes in which someone was outed in broadcast for the uh, for the gender quake show itself and this debate is not particularly conducted in the best light I don't think for example it was a good idea to have a live studio audience there the panel got heckled consistently throughout the night from people who we might call TERFs and also from just people who appeared sharp just so they could be provocative just so they could cause a macro. And it's really annoying that it wasn't dealt with properly. Monroe in particular was subject to a lot of abuse from one particular member of the audience. Monroe asked for this person to be removed. They weren't removed. Caitlin Jenner came to Monroe's defense and at the end of the show, Kathy Newman went, okay, this was not right. By that point, it's too late. By that point, you've allowed these comments to keep going on. And this is where I have my problem with Newman, that um, she can be a good journalist in her own right, but there are so many occasions, including the most popular ones for her, which are the, in, in this day and age, the one with Milo Yiannopoulos and the one with Jordan Peterson, where she somehow manages to, she could take them on a debate, she manages to be taken out in a debate by both of them. And tonight was just another example of it. She shows some great talent in how, for example, she challenges Jermaine Greer's comments made to Victoria Derbyshire. And addressing things like Caitlyn Jenner's relationship with Donald Trump and Caitlyn Jenner's opinions on Donald Trump um, since... He was elected president. And those are the kind of things that we need to look at. At the same time, we need to look at improving. There were so many people, uh, trans rights activists, uh, members of the trans community and allies who said, I'm not going to go on the show because it, we feel like it's going to question whether or not it's okay to be trans. I don't think it did, but I understand that where the concern is coming from there. I think it's good to have something like this coming about. Honestly, do because without the studio audience, it would have been pretty good. A lot of people would have been watching it, and a lot of people would come away with opinions changed, arguably for the better. I think one of the interesting ones over the course of tonight was um, Sarah Ditton, who early on made remarks. It reminded me of Miley Yiannopoulos and Bill Mayer. And if you're not sure about what I'm talking about, it was a performance that was incredibly transphobic and used some statistics that were pretty much made up. And when they were made up, grossly wrong. But over the course of the night, there were some bits where she improved. There were some questions that she asked which seemed a lot more constructive 
but I kind of grouped did him a bit more with the heckler who should have been removed. I think one of the things we need to look at with this program was that it was a step in the correct direction. It wasn't a great leap, it was a small step. We can make more steps, we can improve. I know we can, but it's going to take a while to be able to make great changes, to be able to make great improvements. It's a shame that that's the world we're in. I'm going to pop properly do a dissection of this sometime soon. Just need to find a way to be able to collect it a lot more and right now because I'm doing this just not long after it's ended, a lot of this is a bit off the cuff and I don't want to say anything that particularly offends anybody. These are just my opinions. And as far as I'm aware I haven't said anything that's transphobic so check out down below check out the video um, check out the articles and if you actually want to investigate this bit of violent up as I'm talking about you can check that out as well and honestly if you hope for anything that's particularly constructive or beneficial to the trans community it's not Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon. I hope to be able to get a proper analysis out soon. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.